Hi guys, as most of you are already aware that our sister Hatun has been attacked once more and this time it was a first degree assault and attempted murder with a knife but thankfully the Lord God is good and she is safe even though that she had bleeding her forehead was cut pretty bad as you have watched already in multiple videos I wasn't expecting this kind of an attack to happen in UK in broad daylight if this attack could happen like in UK maybe in the alley at night it does make sense but in broad daylight at speaker's corner where there are a lot of people who can witness it this I was not expecting at this moment but once again the reward of getting Jannah with 72 virgins a uh, river of wine and milk and that does tempt a lot of people at the same time there are a lot of people who have been condemning in the comments of these videos I would just like to show a few of them and they're condemning the act which was performed by somebody and we all know that it was no other than a Muslim who just wants to get rid of her because she is showing the true face of Muhammad and we know from the seed of Muhammad that he asked his followers to kill anybody who said anything wrong against him even if she is a woman we all know that um, but let's just see the comments how Muslims are condemning this act so without any further delay let's watch and also let's see how Hatun reacted after she recovered a little from a fatal attack on her she is a modern era Paul or Paula pray for her keep her in your prayers and thank you Hatun you are a Linus God bless you to thank you for the faith and strength to win the day your words bring light your power never dies and takes my fears away it's not Oh,
Okay, okay. You okay? For fuck's sake! Yes, get it too! Essentials for you to remember, dear Muslim people. Dear Muslim people, Lord Jesus doesn't need me. Allah is in need of you for to be God. Allah cannot do without you. Your prophet cannot live without you. Cutting people's arms, cutting people's arms is not going to help you. Muslim people, you know how much it hurts when you run away from Lord Jesus Christ? It's not about the blood on my hand. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable you are running away from Lord Jesus Christ. It is unacceptable. 20 percent you haven't repented. And what you do is chop people's hand off. God doesn't need me. God can do better job without me. But Muslims, every time I come.